Now let's talk about external cascading style sheet. Okay. So an external cascading style sheet does the same exact thing as an inline style sheet. The only difference being, okay, is that you now, given that it's external, have the ability to make this CSS external, okay? So how would I go um, about doing that? So in order to do that, you will have to do the following, okay? So I'm gonna go to my folder, okay? And inside of this folder that I have titled assignment, I'm gonna click in it and I'm gonna create a new folder inside of it. I'm gonna right click here and I'm gonna select new and I'm gonna go to folder. And I'm gonna title this folder CSS, meaning my external style sheet is going to go inside of this folder that I now have titled CSS. So now, under my title tag, I'm going to link this external style sheet to my regular HTML page. So I'm going to write link relationship equals style sheet. Okay. And then the type of information that's going to be there, it's going to be text slash CSS because I am styling the text in CSS. And then I'm going to do href hyperlink reference equals, and I'm going to call this page style.css. So it is basically similar to me linking a page that I have titled CSS inside of this section. Okay. So now what I have to do is I actually have to go forth and I have to create a page called style.css. So to do that, I'm going to click New. I'm going to go to File, Save As. I'm going to make sure I'm in my Assignment 2 folder. And I'm going to title this style.css. Okay. So now, if I navigate back to this folder, I have a style.css. Notice, however, I did not save it in the CSS folder yet. right? So I just saved it right in here. So how does this work similar to my internal style sheet? So earlier, we called on this H1 tag, right? We called on the H1 tag, and the reason we called on it was because we wanted that H1 tag to be able to, we wanted to change the color of that, and we wanted to center it. Now let's use our external style sheet to do the same exact thing to our paragraph. So to do that, I'm going to do the same thing. Only difference being is I won't have to write style in this, because I've already titled this a style.css page, so there's no need for that. So then I'm going to call on the P, which stands for paragraph. And as you can tell, I have a P tag here for this paragraph. Okay. And then I'm going to have my open curly brace and my closed curly brace. And I'm going to specify a color for the paragraph, and I'm going to make it red. Okay. And I'm going to do a text align. <clears throat> and I'm going to make the text align... Uh, center and I'm going to give it a background color so I'm going to do background color for this and I'm going to make the background color um, black okay so now when I save this if all is well the paragraph that I have written here in my HTML should have a color of red it should be centered and it should have a background color of black okay so let's take a look so when I refresh my page my paragraph now has, this is my first ever paragraph in HTML. It's in red, and it has a background color that is red, okay? So that is how you create an external style sheet. And notice that the internal style sheet, which is right here, and the internal style sheet, which is right here, do the same exact thing, okay? There's really not that much of a big difference. And one of the beautiful things you can do Let's say you know you're confused and you don't really know how to um, get your page to do exactly what you would like it to do. So to fix that, all you essentially have to do is um, the following, okay? You could just go to Google and go to W3 Schools um, CSS, okay? And by doing that in W3 Schools, okay, you'll be able to see all the different things you can do with CSS. You can change fonts, you can change text, you can uh, 
float things, you can align things, you can outline things, etc. All of which we're going to kind of learn. You can add border images, etc. And we're going to learn how to do a lot of these different things using CSS um, for this uh, assignment. Okay. So now that we have a basic sense of how to use CSS, okay, let's continue on some of the things that um, I talked about that I wanted you uh, to know for the, the course. Thank you for watching External Cascading Style Sheets.